Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to take your video quality from this to this. Let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Freely. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to reduce noise in your videos. So noise in general is like those little, if you look in the like corners and the dark spots of um, sometimes your image, just, it can be like really grainy or like noisy as um, you know videographers and photographers talk about it. It can be a very annoying thing to see in your guys' videos. So I'm going to show you guys three different tips on how to get rid of it or at least reduce it. I also have a bonus tip for you guys, so stick around to the end of the video for that. I also wanna preface this video by saying that a lot of the tips that I'm gonna be showing in today's video kind of revolves around manual video and learning how to use your camera in manual mode, meaning, you know, having complete control over ISO, shutter speed, and aperture. So not only knowing how to use it, understanding why these settings matter. If you guys want to learn more about how to shoot in manual video, I have a video I made a while back in the card. So definitely check that out before watching the rest of this video, but don't wa stop watching this video quite yet and maybe just learn the tips and then go back to the video. So the first tip is to shoot in the lowest ISO possible. So if you go into manual video, you have an option to adjust the ISO of your video. For some cameras, it ranges from 50 to like 12,000. Other cameras, you know, it only goes from like 100 to like 12,000 and beyond or whatever. It doesn't matter too much on the range, but the point of this tip is to always shoot in the lowest ISO possible for your situation. So currently while I'm filming this video, I'm shooting at an ISO 500 f 3.5 and my shutter speed is 1 50th of a second once you understand kind of like the whole manual video process and knowing what each of these do it should be pretty clear the iso is the camera's sensitivity to light so the lower the number is the less sensitive it is to light and the higher the number is the more sensitive it is to light it also comes with a caveat the lower the iso is the more sharper your image is meaning there's less noise but the higher the iso is is, less sharp it is or the more noise is introduced or grain or whatever you want to call it most of the time when you're shooting in auto mode the camera can just do whatever it wants it'll just adjust the settings however it wants to make sure that your image is not too dark so that's why when you're shooting in auto you have less control over what settings you have so shooting in manual is actually really really important to kind of like understanding why your image looks the way it is and in turn knowing how to fix it so if your image if your video quality is like low per se and you're like shooting in 1080p or whatever maybe adjust the iso because maybe it's like cranking it up to like 6400 or like 12,000 or whatever to compensate for you know another setting of the camera and the second tip i can give you is to make sure you have lots of light wherever you're shooting so in this room i'm shooting in there's a pretty decent amount of light um, i have two windows right here um, and it's producing a pretty decent amount of light and i'm pretty well exposed right here I mean, I can make it even brighter. I can... So right there, what I was doing is adjusting the ISO. So earlier in the video, I told you I was at 500 ISO, but now I'm at uh, 640. So noticeably it got brighter, right? But with it getting brighter, you know, I'm introducing more grain. So light is a big factor because the less light you have, the more the ISO has to go up. And if you're shooting in auto, you have no idea what these settings are being adjusted to because the camera is just making decisions by itself. So make sure wherever you're shooting has lots of light. When it comes to photography and videography, you know, light is like one of your best friends. Unless it's too bright, that's when you'd have to introduce like an ND filter, which I talk about in another video. So check that out if you have too much light. But in general, you kind of want more light for your videos because the more light you have, the lower the ISO can go. So right now I'm at 640. Um, if I wanted to, you know, I can go a little bit lower, but it makes it a little bit darker. So, you know, in this case, I would need more light if I wanted to go to a lower ISO. But right now it's just, a, it's a nice lighting right now. So, you know, with what I got, this is, this is really good. My next step would be to use some kind of noise reduction inside your editing software in post-production. So for example, I use Final Cut and they have this little effect called noise reduction. I personally don't use it because, you know, I try to always do my noise reduction 
in camera by making sure my camera has all the correct settings and it's not too dark, it's not too bright. So you can you know, save yourself a lot of work if you just know how to use your camera effectively. But if for some reason you can't reduce the noise in camera, you can do it in post-production, but the results may vary depending on how bad it is and what program you're using. I personally use Final Cut. I don't use it all that often, uh, noise reduction, but that is an option for those who need it. My next tip would be to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. My bonus tip for today would be to set the ISO limit to like 6400. So at least for the Canon M50, I'm not sure if this is the same for all cameras out there, but you can set the ISO limit to 6400 on the M50. So basically what it does is that if you have your ISO on auto and you're say you're taking pictures or doing video and you have control over like shutter speed and aperture, you can set the ISO limit to 6400. So if um, for whatever reason the, the image needs to be brightened up a bit by raising the ISO, it won't go past 6400. It'll pretty much cap at 6400. It won't go anywhere past that. So that is another tip to like reduce noise in your photos and videos. You know, prevent it from going to that point in the first place. If you want to learn more about the Canon 50, specifically about the autofocus and the different autofocus modes, check the top video on the screen right now. And if you want to learn all about the Canon 50 and all the different features, click the bottom link. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.